Good day to you traders. It's Thursday, November 12th, 2020, and your cherry bomb trade is in. We're going to be doing another debit spread today, but I'm going to be honest. Give you some alternatives. What you think of those? Stay tuned to the end. I'll give you the alternative to today's cherry bomb trade. But let's look at the actual cherry bomb. Today. It's going to be a Goldman Sachs, which has a liquidity rank of three out of four. However, one of the things I'm going to point out to you, particularly at the end, is a little bit about that liquidity, right? Yeah, it might have a three or at a four rank, but sometimes when you look at weeklies, wow, right? Maybe not so liquid. <laughs> but it has an IV rank right now of 12, so it's definitely low IVR, definite long or premium, right? Uh, sort, of, sort of a trade candidate here. It's IV percentiles in the 25 range as well too, so there's a 75% chance that IV will be going up. Right? And I don't know that a long call vertical really sets up well to benefit from an increase in volatility when a stock moves the direction you want it to for a long call vertical. You know what I'm saying? If, if you don't, that's okay. Hopefully I'll explain it when we hop in. So let's hop into that platform and get today's trade going. But first, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Neil. Those of you that are subscribed, of course, you probably know that by now. But in case you're new here, uh, one of the best things you can do is head on down to that description box and find the link to sign up for Tasty Trades Cherry Bomb email list. Uh, they give out an email five days a week. Four of those days have trade ideas. And that's what we're doing in this channel. We're building out a simulated trading plat uh, portfolio using Thinkorswim's simulated trading portfolio or platform. I'm going to get those two words right one of these. <laughs> so I thank you so much for joining. And uh, yeah, there we go. Now we move to actually building the trade. On screen here, you can see I have Goldman Sachs. Got that pulled up here. You can see a very slight expansion in volatility recently. You can also see that the prices have hit the upper band in these Bollinger Bands, right? And we're looking like we're on our way to a, a bullish trend here. Although today seems to be, or is that yesterday, seems to be a slight down day. Now I wonder, will it go up? Will it go down? Well, the Tasty Trade email that you're probably going to subscribe to, hope, right? Click that link down there. Right, I don't get anything from them. Just, you should get it. It's good stuff. It's free. It's an email, right? It gives you something to look forward to when you wake up, <laughs> besides these videos. All right. Anyway, uh, so the price could be going up. According to the email, they're kind of bullish on it. And if you're bullish on it, you'll like today's cherry bomb. Uh, so admittedly, this is a bearish signal for me. This is close to one, and this is not. I got two out of three that are giving me a uh, bearish signal, actually. Right? Bearish, bearish, not really. Right? So with that, Technical analysis. I know it was amazing. Let's build a trade. Going over to this analyze tab, click on add simulated trade. We're going to be, according to the cherry bomb, in the December 24th, 42 days to expiration as of today. Right? We have, uh, we're going to be in these expiration. And we're going to be down here in the call site, of course. We're going to be buying the 215 and selling the 220. As you can see, I've built that down here by clicking on the ask for the 215, holding down the control key, and clicking the bid. The 220. I built one contract because I've changed my default settings so that I only do one contract because I do subscribe to most, probably all, but most of the, uh, for sure, the tasty trade mechanics of trading small and trading off, right? So there it is. We're looking at a debit of 265. So we know we've got, when we're doing a debit trade, we've got defined risk in this one, right? We know that that is the most that we could lose as this will wither away over time, because this is the kind of trade that will lose its value over time. We're hoping that if we buy this for 265 in the next 42 days, we'll be able to sell it for more, right? So let's take a look at this in the probabilities. Over to the risk profile we go, make sure your date is set to Christmas, and then set your price slice over here to break even, and then add expiration. And you're staring at a 40, let's round up, 47% probability of profit ending on or to the right of this line, right? You look at that compared to the email we got, which was 48%, right? Probabilities have dropped a little bit, maybe because coming down. Price is coming down a little bit, so I guess there you go. Uh, but it's a bummer to pay more than we can, pay more than we can make 
right? The most we could make here is 235. The most we could lose is 265. Paying more, yet the probabilities still, I don't feel, are working out for us. No me gusta, right? No, what do you think? This is not what I would want. So, that is why I think it's time to get an alternative. So I built out an alternative for you here. Now, this is like a different than the alternatives I normally do. Normally, I feel like my alternatives are like, all right, uh, maybe you don't like undefined risk, right? Or I, or I take a, um, and move the strikes around a little bit. But this one, not only am I moving strikes, but I feel like I'm also taking a different position. I don't think I'm bullish on bearish. So if you want to consider a bearish opportunity, take a look at tasty work. Here I've got built out, let's go to curve view because I believe it doesn't get a lot of love and it's probably easier to see on your screens. So here I'm saying, why don't we consider buying the 220 put, right, which is in the money and selling the 215 put. Once again, we are a $5 wide spread, but in this case we benefit should, as you can see this green area to the left uh, would be our profit zone. So we have all this area to the left. If Goldman Sachs should go down in price, right? But here we're looking at, a, by the way, monthly. We've changed expirations. I should have shown that. Let me go back to the table view. I'll show you. We're looking at the monthlies with 36 days left to expire. And instead of having a 47, 8-ish percent, 7, around there, percent probability of profit, we're looking at a 54% probability of profit. And instead of a from P50, we're looking at a 67% P, right? Me, this is much better. And I want you to see this. And I talked about liquidity in the beginning. And so if you stated this part of the video, thanks. Um, notice the open interest here, right? 363, 128, okay? Yeah, the bid ask is 30 cents right here in this one. Okay, now I want you to compare this three drops of liquidity, three stars of liquidity. Uh, I wanna clear this trade out just for a second. Close this one up, go to the same weeklies in December 24th, right? And notice the open interest here in this range where we would build this one, say the two, 12 and 65, right? So I feel like we got a lot less open interest, particularly if we were to take a position like this. This is the one that I initially looked at right here. We have zero open interest in these strikes, okay? Here we have 59%, 63%. That's pretty good, right? If we move these strikes up to there, 54, 69, right? 250, 250, very similar. So this is an option as well. However, I just find that that open interest uh, is kind of crummy and the bid asks are bigger. So, I mean, yeah, here we're looking at a $3 a dollar yeah we're quite wide on those bid asks so i feel like what's more interesting to me is this monthly one this 215 220 long short 215 put vertical so looking at a risk one to make one better than 50 percent probability 65 percent probability of us collecting 125 and running right <laughs> this is more of my speed so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and put that into our Thinkorswim app, right over here. I'm going to delete that trade. And because this is a modified version, I'm going to throw it into my IRA. So we're looking at the wrong expirations. Go over here to the monthlies, puts 220, holding down that control key, clicking on the bid for the 215. We're looking at 250. Probabilities on this one. Dates wrong. 19th. That are pretty, pretty close. Now we're looking at a, a better probability for. I like that. I believe we should put the probabilities in our favor, right? That's why we're trading options, <laughs> not putting them against us. Now I could be wrong. This could turn into a total loser, and I'm okay with doing losing 250 on this. That's part of that whole trade management thing, right? Is getting it right in the beginning, getting the things the way you want them in the All right, hey, 
I'm going to right click this trade. I'm going to choose confirm and send. Just reviewing the max profit and max loss 250, 250, risk one and make one with a hello 60 something percent chance. What was that? 50? 65% chance that in the next 36 days we'll pull off half that profit. That sounds great to me. I'm going to hit send. That's going to put that into my working orders over here. And you know what it might be fun to do is go ahead and put on in our margin account the actual cherry bomb trade. Why not? Right? Because I'd like to have more, more positions. on. And hey, I've done this before where I've taken opposite positions and profited on both of them. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. And analyze. Look at this. You're getting like a three. Add simulated trade. Wrong month. Guy yeah, here. Let me scroll down. It was 215.20. Vertical by 265. I'm going to right click this. Choose confirm and send. Here we see I can make 235. Lose 265. Hit and send. That's in my working orders for my margin account. So that's great. All right. If you made it this far, here's your thumbs up. Thank you so much. I do appreciate you watching all the way to the end of the video. And yeah, you know, we're coming up on Thursday. So tomorrow's Friday will be our final cherry bomb trade. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments about a trade or an underlying that you would like to see done on Monday. Please don't be shy. I'd love to hear from you. So yeah, until I see you in tomorrow's video. Buddy.